Hey guys, this is Abhishek from GadgetsYouth.com and today we are going to do the quick unboxing and full review of the OB mobile phone which we have got. So this is the OB mobile which we have with us. As you can see, this is how it looks like. I have already done the unboxing. I have used this device for approximately two days now. And I can say that this device is pretty good in terms of the performance and the UI is also pretty fluid. Uh, this is a relatively new company in the market. Uh, they are fairly new as compared to other brands like Micromax Carbon and Lava. So they are a new company but they are providing some good devices with good build quality and great premium feel as well as you can see. Uh, this device looks pretty premium especially with this part and this part. However, uh, both of these things are actually plastic but they are finished with chrome and they add a very premiumness in terms of the look for this particular phone and the back cover on this device over here it is also something which is very nice in terms of finishing it is a metallic back cover which they have actually used and it has matte finish to it which looks pretty good you have the ob branding over there and we have the camera and other things so we will take a look over the device later on let's take a look what we have inside the package and before we go inside the package let's take a look what are the specifications of this particular phone so this phone is running on mediatek 6582 chipset 1.3 gigahertz quad core processor you have android kitkat 4.4.2 i guess we will confirm that you have a qhd display not full hd display but it is an ips display panel so the viewing angle should be good it is a 5 inch display which we have on this device we have gsm frequencies which are supported as you can see we do have support for 3g at 21 100 megahertz and then we have the camera which is 8 megapixel at the back which does have autofocus and led flash and the front camera is 5 megapixel the memory on the device inbuilt is 8 gb 1 gb of ram it has we do have micro sd memory card slot as well and then we have the wi-fi connectivity bluetooth is also there usb otg should be there as well we will confirm that we have fm radio which will coming pre uh, which is coming pre-installed you have thickness of the device which is 8.6 millimeter and you do have two sim cards supported and when it comes to the weight we will confirm that again it does not feel very heavy but slightly heavy as compared to other 5 inch phones these were all the specifications of this phone the model of the phone is leopard s502 so this is ob leopard s502 as far as model number is concerned we have some other information over there when it comes to the package contents you will get a handset which is the phone you have the charger the battery hands-free cable and then you have the usb cable flip cover a screen protector user manual warranty card and a sar flyer which will lift the sar values of this particular device as far as sar values are concerned they are mentioned over here on the box itself as well as you can see so it is having a 0.344 watt per kg one gram head and you have 0.381 watt per kg one gram body the weight of the device or the gross weight of the package is approximately 448 grams so uh, anyways we don't need to think about that let's take a look what we have inside the package so further going inside we can see that we have a flip cover which looks very good and let me just remove this packaging and show you the flip cover so we have a screen guard as well which come within the package as it was mentioned and we have this flip cover which looks like it is an intelligent flip cover we will confirm that so it has a sticker over there which you can always remove and this is how it looks like it, is, it has a transparent screen and most probably you should be able to use the device uh, once you use this flip cover so you don't have to actually uh, do anything you just need to have the flip cover on the phone and then you should be able to use the touch screen and other functionalities we do have some user manuals which come within the package safety information guide and apart from that if we further go in we have two more boxes this one should have the charger okay this one has the headphones you have any headphones which come within the package of this phone as you can see and you have this kind of audio lead so this is the audio lead the 3.5 mm audio lead Apart from this, there are some more things as well inside the package. Let me just get this thing out. Okay. So here we have the micro USB cable for data syncing and charging, a standard one. And then we have the charger over there. Let me just open this part as well and show you as far as the output current from the charger is concerned. So this is the charger which we will get within the package and the output current from the charger is 1 ampere. So you get 1 ampere charger. And these are all things which you will get within the package of this particular phone. 
So let me just get rid of all of these things as of now and we will take a look over the phone. So here we have the phone and we have the flip cover over there. Uh, the flip cover has a silicon kind of a plastic thing which is again not silicon it is transparent plastic you can say not silicon. This part is having some feather which is again going to protect your display and over here we have very nice finishing rubberized kind of finishing with the OB branding. So looks good in terms of the build quality overall. Let's apply this. In order to apply the flip cover you, you do not have to remove the back cover you don't need to remove that. You just need to place the phone inside. It will go inside like this. Then you can access the power and sleep key and the volume button. Uh, and it, it gets slightly difficult to press the buttons. Although they give you feedback but not great amount of feedback. Uh, but pretty okay. This is how the flip cover looks like. And if I turn on the flip cover, this is how it is actually displaying the time. Although if I try to use the screen from the flip cover, I'm not able to do that so it is not an intelligent flip cover but it will give you the indication of date and time over here and some notifications as well so this is how it looks like it is a perfect fit there is no blockage of any connectivity as far as camera is concerned there is no blockage for the micro USB port or 3.5 mm audio jack at the bottom we do not have any connectivity ports but the microphone is also not blocked which is good and in order to remove the back cover you just need to uh, pull it from the edges and the phone body will come out you can do it from the top as well and once you do it you can take it out so it is made up of plastic and metal this part is actually metal whereas this is plastic over there as you can see so it is a combination of plastic this part is metal however these two parts are plastic again so here we have the battery and sim card slot so we have a sim card slot 1 which will accept a micro sim the sim card slot 2 will accept a normal size sim card and here we have the micro SD memory card slot to expand the storage of this device you can use up to 32 gb of micro SD memory card we have ob uh, mobile battery over there which is 2100 milliampere hour battery it is a lithium ion battery which we have on this device talking about the connectivity let's take a look over the connectivity at the bottom we have primary microphone on this device which you can see on this side we have nothing no ports no connectivity over here at the back side we have 8 megapixel camera with led flash as you can see and we have the loudspeaker over here on the curve part on this side we have the volume volume button and the power and sleep key both of these buttons are metal plastic buttons but they give you good amount of feedback which is good at the top you have micro USB port for data syncing and charging and you have a 3.5 mm audio jack on the front we have the nice metallic earpiece we do have a screen guard which is already coming pre-installed on this device which is good we have a front camera which is a 5 megapixel front camera we do have capacity buttons over there at the bottom and they do not have backlit led although they are finished in silver so they are colored silver so that you can see them but it is kind of difficult at times when you see these buttons or use the phone in now talking about the build quality and the form factor this phone again weighs slightly heavier but on the other hand it also feels really solid in hand the build quality is also very nice this is something which i can say talking about the overall form factor this is just like any other five inch phone which you might have seen so the form factor is no way different but definitely it is bigger to use with one hand one handed usage is slightly limited but you can always use it with, with two hands or you can always uh, basically uh, move your finger around and move the phone in your hand because the phone will give you a better grip Let's take a look over the software UI of the phone now and again it is running almost talk Android. There are a little amount of customization. We do have support for wireless display on this device. We have support for automatic brightness as well. As you can see automatic brightness is supported. Talking about some other things we do have toggles for the Wi-Fi location and other things. We have the battery indication over there as well. Let's go into settings and show you what we have as far as version of Android is concerned. So we have Android 4.4.2 which is good. Android KitKat is coming on this device. We do have support for software updates on this device over there. Over there you will get software updates on this one which is good. We do have application scenario. We have 1 GB of RAM on this device and I can show you the current status of the RAM. So out of 1 GB of RAM approximately 616 MB of RAM is free as of now and 347 MB of RAM is being used. So free amount of RAM is fairly good on this device which is good. Let's take a look over the storage. On the storage front this device has 8 GB of internal storage which is again divided into two parts. We have the internal storage which is used for applications. Uh, 0.89 GB is being allocated for application where you can install application and 
when it comes to the phone storage which is around 5.28 which you will get uh, you can actually install application and store picture videos and other data on the storage part we do have support for sd card as well and you also have the option to change the default write disk so once you insert an sd card into this device you should be able to install applications on the sd card when it comes to audio profiles we do have some extra options over there to enhance the overall quality of sound from the earphones i have just used the headphones and i can say that the headphones are pretty okay in terms of sound quality it is not great Features of the phone includes location access. You do have support for GPS navigation on this device. With the help of assisted GPS, you can use this device for GPS navigation with Google Maps without any issues. Let's take a look over tethering options. So we do have support for internet tethering on this device. That means you can share the 3G internet by creating a Wi-Fi hotspot using the 3G SIM card which you can insert in SIM card slot 2, SIM card slot 1. So SIM card slot 2 support 2G whereas the SIM card slot 1 support 3G connectivity and we have support for USB and Bluetooth tethering as well. So all these things are there on this device which is good. Let's take a look over the display. On the display front if we take a look over the wallpaper, video wallpapers are also supported on this device which is definitely a good thing. Taking a look over the phone dialer, this is how the phone dialer will look like. It is a stock Android phone dialer and when it comes to having an option of making a video call, you do have that. So you can do a cellular video call from this device which is possible. As far as messaging application goes, here we have the messaging application. Let me just compose a new message. So this is how messaging application looks like. It is again stock Android in terms of the overall look and feel. When it comes to swipe to type, you do not have that supported. Continuous input is not supported. But typing on this device should not be an issue because the keys are pretty big in size. They also give you a pop-up whenever you type. So typing is not an issue on this 5-inch display phone. In case you face any issues, you can always type in the landscape mode as well. So here we have the camera interface as you can see this device has an 8 megapixel camera at the back which does have auto focus and tap to focus is also there. So once you tap on the specific subject which is there in the center it will try to focus that and it will do that pretty quickly. Let me just take a photo of my LG G2 and we will show you how the overall camera quality. So it takes some time to take the photo. Let me just take the same photo without that light and we will see how does that come out and we will disable the flash in this case. So the flash is disabled and I can take the same photo again. So we have taken both of the photos. Let me just show you both of them one by one. So this is the kind of photo which we have got without artificial light. Again it is not very clear and the color prediction is also fairly average not too great. But the one which has been taken with artificial light, it is pretty good in terms of color production. But details are again not that great. So camera is again okay, not too great. But for this price, it is pretty good. Especially as per the other phones which we have in the market. Talking about some other options, we do have live photo mode over there. We have a beautification mode as well. We have panorama mode supported on this device. We do have HDR mode also supported. HDR mode is also there. Uh, over there as you can see HDR mode is there let me just show you the view from the front camera so this is how the view from the front camera will look like the front camera is again decent uh, cannot do high definition video chat but pretty good in terms of clarity you can do a decent average quality of video chat from this device and the video feed is not at all uh, laggy which is good so the front camera does a decent job and the rear camera is again okay not too great now here we have the system information for this device, we have the model number which is S502, we have ARM V7 processor on this device clocked at 1.3 GHz, it is a quad core CPU, MediaTek 6582 chipset it is, when we talk about the resolution, the resolution is QHD, uh, it is again not 720p but QHD, pretty good in terms of pixel density and we will show you that as well, so 514 to 960 is the resolution and we have Mali 400 MP as the GPU on this device. And here we have the sensors which includes accelerometer sensor, proximity sensor and light sensor which we have. We do not have magnetic field sensor on this device but GPS navigation works fine on this device without any issues and this is something which I can say after using this device for, G for GPS navigation twice. So it is good. When it comes to the display, the display is an IPS panel which gives you great viewing angles. Again, not too great viewing angles, but pretty good. The discoloration is not happening and you can see the display from almost any angle, which is good. As far as the pixel density is concerned, the pixel density is pretty good. Uh, I did not face pixelation on this device as such in day-to-day -day usage, 
and even if you take a closer look you can see the text is rendered very nicely you do not see any pixelation in this device so pixel density is fairly okay not too great not too high actually but pretty good for a device like this with QHD display so here we have the Nina Mark score for this device which is 58.2 FPS which is a pretty good score and you can play high definition games on this device provided you have storage for the same and again if you are running out of limited storage on this phone you can always install applications on the SD card so some of the games can be installed on the SD card that is possible on this phone. Let's take a look over the NT2 benchmark score. So on the score front, uh, we have got a score of 17920, which is fairly a good score for a device like this. And with this kind of hardware configuration and the kind of usage I have done in day-to-day -day usage. On N2, we have got a score of 17920, which is a pretty decent score for a device like this. And with this score, the kind of day-to-day -day performance I have done with this phone, the usage, overall performance of this device is pretty decent for anyone who would like to use it for multimedia or for gaming so this is a pretty good device as far as day-to-day -day usage is concerned i did not face any issues with this device either it is gaming or it is multimedia or it is phone calling or any other thing which is related to connectivity so now we are playing this game called temple and oz to show you the overall graphic performance of this device as you can see, I can see the shadow of the player and the graphics are also rendered pretty nicely on this device when I play this game. Touch screen is quite, quite responsive when I uh, touch it for doing certain actions. So it is almost an instant response which I am getting from the touch screen. The gravity sensor on the device is also working well and the wing angles of the device when I play this game are also good enough. As you can see, I can see it from different angles. In terms of gaming, it can also play high definition games like Frontline Commando, D-Day, Blood and Glory and other games. So as you can see right now we are playing a YouTube video from our channel. This is a high definition video which is getting played at high definition quality I guess. Okay, it is getting played at 480p not at 720p. Although you can play high definition videos on this device both at 720p as well as at 1080p which is the thing. As far as loudspeaker is concerned, the loudspeaker is fairly loud but it will get muffled whenever you place the device like this on a table and this is something which will happen. The wing angles are good enough on this device whenever uh, you are watching a video. You can see it from almost any angle from the sideways as well as from the top and bottom there is no issue with this device. Talking about the OTG support, let's check the same. So we just need to connect the OTG flash drive over here and I think it should get detected. Until now it has not detected the same. Let me just confirm that by going into storage. So it has not detected the USB flash drive. OTG is not supported on this phone. And when it comes to LED notification light, we do have that on this device whenever the device is charging on whenever there are new alerts for missed calls or missed messages, unread messages basically, you will get the LED notification light which will blink. As far as battery backup is concerned, it will give you around one day battery backup. On continuous usage, you can get around three to four hours of battery backup from this device. And when it comes to basic to moderate usage, you can get around one day battery backup. With heavy usage, you will not get one day battery backup. That's all from us. To let us know if you have any specific question for the OB Mobile, which we have with us, the Leopard S502. In case you have any questions, you can leave your questions in the comment section below. You can like this video, this video help you by clicking the like button below. You can subscribe to our YouTube video channel for more videos like this by clicking the subscribe button below. Thanks for watching this video. This is Abhishek signing off. Thank you.